Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rucha Mehta, Consultant Endocrinologist and Diabetologist at Edmo Clinic and Apollo Hospital CVHF. I shall be speaking to you today about newer delivery mechanisms for insulin. We all know that in our type 1 insulin requiring diabetic patients as well as our type 2 patients who end up on insulin, it is quite a daily chore and really a painful procedure to have to inject themselves with needles on a daily basis. Of course, we know that insulin is necessary for glycemic control. However, what we also know is that this is not something that is enjoyable for them. Newer delivery mechanisms of insulin and longer acting insulins offer to our patients an easier way of taking care of their glucose. Today I presented some data from an older molecule, however it has interesting implications which was known as inhaled insulin exubera which is no longer on the market. However, what we found in our study is that a short-acting meal-based time insulin also significantly lowered the fasting blood glucose. We sought out to explore that why is a meal-based insulin which should lower only postprandial sugar also lowers your fasting blood sugar. We, perform, we performed on 11 patients several studies including an oral glucose tolerance test, a hepatic glucose production study, a DEXA and at the end of 16 weeks of treatment with inhaled insulin, all of these studies were repeated. What we found that at the end of 16 weeks, fasting sugar went down, postprandial blood sugar went down even more, HbA1c reduced by about 2.5% on a mean uh, level, the 24-hour glucose profile as measured by continuous glucose monitoring improved. Also what we saw is that in all of these patients based on the hepatic glucose production study, the HGP went down significantly by almost 28% from baseline to end of study and this was not affected by any change in weight or measured glucagon and free fatty acid levels. This suggests to us that a short acting molecule also may have a lot of role to play on the fasting glucose and somehow improve insulin sensitivity and therefore reduce hepatic glucose production. What implications does this have for the future that we need to find molecules that can better help to control our patients fasting and postprandial glucose thereby a single treatment on a daily basis or even on a weekly basis may help them to better take care of their sugar without glycemic variability. Thank you very much.